Hi everyone, I've just prepared a small tutorial on how to resolve dependency problems of Eagle Cat by inspecting the binary installation package. So the first step of course is downloading the installation package and usually you just download it, make it executable, start it and it will run, install, install uh, Eagle Cat and everything's fine but if you are on a 64-bit system and you have unmet dependencies it might just uh, quit with an error message after a certain amount of time. So let us just check this out in the terminal. I will proceed to the downloads folder and make it executable. And as you can see, after a certain amount of time, there will just be an error message without any further information. What we can do is, um, after the error message occurs, we can just um, look at the script. And as you can, as you will see, it is containing a shell script and afterwards a tar package and what we can do is just uh, strip off the shell script by finding out the offset of the targi set file with an hex editor in this case of teta and we can just strip off the shell script part and extract the package by hand so let us just look at the Tarby Z header, it's at offset 966 hex. We have to transfer this hex number into a uh, well, decimal number. So let us just do that with a calculator. So offset 2406 uh, is what we need. We can just strip off this uh, shell script by using DD and skip the first 2406 bytes. Okay, now we are able to uh, check if the package is valid. As we have seen, there's uh, MD5 checksum in this shell script. I think it checks it. Uh, it's also the numbers identical. Fine. We can now extract the tar bz package. I've skipped the installation, the extraction process, and if we enter the extracted eaglecat files, you can see there's the binary. If we use LDD to find out what dependencies it has, uh, there aren't any dependencies shown. So in our case, it's not because there's, this is not a dynamic executable, it's because we are on a 64-bit system and Eaglecat uh, relies on 32-bit packages. So let us just install um, 32-bit libraries. In this case, I will just make a... well, uh, I will install all packages. Oops. I'll skip the installation process, it takes a lot of time. Okay, so now uh, the installation of the 32-bit packages is done and if we re reuse LDD, you will see that the dependencies are shown, so unmet dependencies will be shown here. Thanks for watching.